Hello everybody, I am Ben from Team Panic and today it is time for the final event report for ARC's main meet. It's the bees and fleas today uh, and the fleas, there's not many fights so we're just tacking that on at the end. Uh, there will be time codes in the description if you want to just jump to the fleas, I guess. Uh, anyway, we'll start with the bees. So this is run for it, my four wheel drive front hinge flipper that I've built fairly recently. Uh, and that was what I put into the B div at ARC's main meet. Now the B div for us is a non-destructive plastic ant weight category. You can put weapons in there uh, as long as they are a plastic weapon. You can't put a metal weapon in because that's not plastic. Uh, but what you will find is that there is a lot of um, wedges and pushers and hammers and flippers and not too many weapons. So having said all of that, we need to talk about our first fight, which is a robot called Sire of Spikes. It is a Scoopy type wedge robot. Three, two, one, This was a fun first fight for me. I hadn't really driven uh, run for it all that much before this fight. I mean, I'd driven it in a, a little bit in testing, but in fights, it's a very different experience, feeling uh, a very different way. And realistically, I found the grip and the control of run for it really, really nice. This four wheel drive system pulls up and stops really, really quickly. I let the my finger off the throttle for just a second and it came to a stop and I tried to turn and it turned to just a certain angle and that was it. Like it was really, really nice. Uh, and then of course we did get a nice big stack and flip on Sire of Spikes and unfortunately Sire of Spikes cannot drive upside down, which uh, is a little bit of a problem, especially in this weight class or in this particular class where there are a few flippers going around. Uh, I do believe they fixed that later on in the competition, but for this particular fight, they got stacked and I did try and get them back again when I pushed them down into that corner. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get them back again before they were counted out. Um, I did eventually get them back again about a minute or so later and then we had a little bit of a tussle, but the fight had already been cold and it was basically time up. Uh, so we won that particular fight. Next up is a robot called Cheesy. It is a cheese wedge. And if you saw last week's video, it is a sibling robot to uh, Chuppy, which I fought in the ADIV. Also for this fight, I did have to put a new lifting arm on run for it because the one that I had that ran all the way down the back when it was really nice and hit, fit the form factor of the robot, I had printed the G-shaft just a little bit too big and in the fight versus Cyrus Spikes, it had rounded out ever so slightly, making it uh, not great going forward. So what I ended up doing was uh, putting on one from Vera's last meet and that was because while I did have spares of the front hinge flipper design, printed and ready to go, I left them next to my 3D printer so they weren't available for this fight.
So this was a fun shoving fight. I mean, it was uh, a fight that nullified my weapon entirely because those big wheels on Cheesy and the design that it had, I could never stack them anywhere. If I tried to stack them up on the flipper, they would either fall back over onto their wheels or they would get stuck up against the wall and drive off because their wheels are just big enough to touch something. Or if I stack them on their side, they could just drive around sideways for a little bit before they fell back down and kept fighting. Uh, yeah, so really the only recourse here was to push them into the pit, which is what I ended up doing, but it took a fair bit of doing because they were quite slippery with that ability to, uh, yeah, just be pushed any which direction and keep driving. I also uh, believe they do actually have a fairly nice invert system on their controller, which is, again, something I've talked about on this channel about me needing to do, uh, but haven't got around to yet. Uh, and in the end, it was a fun, nice back and forth kind of shovey match. So next up, we have Mousy, which is another kind of cheese wedge style wedge. This time, slightly wider and slightly shorter. <laughs> And again, in this fight, I really, really like the four-wheel drive. I, like, this four-wheel drive system seems to be able to overpower most other robots in the competition at this point, and it's just fun to drive, realistically. Uh, Mousy was again another robot where the flipper really didn't come into play because the way the thing is designed, it can really just drive any which way up. I got a good couple of shots at the pit on them, however, I'm still a little bit skittish about driving too close to the pit because I don't really want to go in there myself. Uh, so I often let up on the, the throttle when I was getting too close and not quite finishing the job. Thankfully though, in this particular instance, Mousy finished the job for me. So we've got three wins so far and the final fight of uh, the bees category is up against a robot called Dozer who runs some tank tracks. Now, when I first built Run For It, the driver of Dozer uh, basically posted a challenge saying that we needed to have a pushing match at some point uh, and thankfully it came up in competition. So this is the ultimate traction off. Is four wheels better or are tank tracks? Tank treads better. So I guess the answer to that question is four wheels are better, but really I think that actually the wedge on run for it did a lot of the heavy lifting here and not so much the four wheel drive. We have a nice acetate wedge on the front of run for it and getting in underneath dozer and kind of getting some of the body mass of dozer up onto run for it, like loosening his contact on the ground uh, really did help us a lot in this shoving match here. Uh, there was, of course, uh, a lot of shoving around here, and he was a difficult one to flip because, of course, again, he's able to drive inverted and drive on most of his surfaces. I did manage to jam him into a wall and get a track to come off, and then, of course, the coup de grace, I flipped him up onto the actual dozer scoop and just had him sit there 
bolt upright, ready to go and uh, lose that fight. So yeah, there we go. We ended up winning all four fights for the day. And of course that means we won the B League. So for those of you who have been keeping track at home, we got a first, a second and a first for ARC's May meet. And I think this is the best I've done in a long, long while. And I am really, really happy with that. Fairly obviously. Um, yeah, that was really good. I think it was a chaotic, chaotic day. Little bits and pieces just kept going wrong on all three robots. Annie didn't have a particularly good driving day. The weapon kept going down on Jiffy. Uh, and actually uh, run for it worked pretty well the whole way through. Although I did lose the weapon and had to run a backup weapon. So there was just kind of little niggles going on all the way through the day. I was constantly like racing to get batteries charged to put in robots to get them back in the arena. It all felt very, very hectic. And then right at the last minute, I got a lot of trophies. So yeah, it was a weird, wonderful and fun day. And to cap it all off, after everything had been done, uh, we had a quick little fleas fight. Uh, so I've named my flea the anti-fleas because it's made of ant weight parts and it's not really a flea where it is, but it isn't. Anyway, so I then of course fought Steve's flea, Flea in Terror. Three, two, one, go! Nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. I need to put a wedge on this. Ah, if only I could drive this thing. Plus, I'll save every. Alright, I'll push up the bit. So that could have gone better. Uh, my controls were inverted because apparently I plugged the motors in backwards and I hadn't realized that until we were in the box and ready to go. So whoops, that's on me. Uh, and that did mean that getting everything working was a bit of a pain because of course I was driving inverted. So if I was turning left, it would go, actually no, left and right were fine. It's forwards and backwards that were broken beyond compare. So I was having to like remap my, where my thumb was in my brain and it did not work very well. Compound that with the fact that this design is not great. When you lift something up on the front flipper, it then rides on the front uh, stick or the front uh, lip of the robot and pushes the wheels off the ground so you no longer have any traction. Uh, yeah, I wasn't really getting that very well anyway. Uh, and then of course we did get the flipper in a couple of times, as I mentioned, doing those flips, lifting the wheels off the ground, couldn't really do anything with that. It would be nice to have him lift it up and then push him into the pit but that's not how that works apparently. And then of course I did manage to get him stacked against the wall, but he rounded out the back of the end of his flea weight chassis so he could just fall back down again. Uh, and then he turned around and returned the favor. And of course I have a nice flat back. So anti-flea just sits there. And the servo that I'm running this on only does a 90 degree arc. So it doesn't go far enough back to allow uh, the invert off the wall and I was stuck. That was the end of that. So did pretty well in all of the actual scheduled fights and not very well in the fleas. I really need to do better at fleas. I think there's another hex bug conversion in our near future. Anyway, that is going to be it for today's bees and fleas. I hope you guys have enjoyed that one and I will see you in the next video.